So we are going to discuss question 5 of the tutorial for counting. And the question is, how many ways can a photographer at a wedding arrange 6 people in a row, including the bride and the groom, if A. The bride must be next to the groom. Alright, so in the regular situation, when we don't have any constraint, and we basically have 6 people, so the number of ways to arrange six people in a line is a straightforward permutation of six vectorial. Now, but out of this six vectorial, there are many arrangements where the bride may not be next to the groom. So the only way to make sure that the bride and the groom are going to be together is to reserve two slots, two consecutive slots for the bride and the groom together. Now, for example, now, instead of six places, so essentially what we are going to have is if we group these two into one slot, so then we can think of it as if there is... So in this case, this have one person each, right? And in this case, we will have two person here, the bread and the groom, and one person for all the other guests. Now, now we actually have five different slots now. Four of the slots are for one person, and one of the slots is for two people. So if we look at the number of ways that we can permute these five slots, essentially now we have five factorial. Now, wherever this slot for two appears, we're just going to put a bread and a groom there. Now, but there are two possible ways for the bread and groom to stand next to each other. One possibility is for the bride to be on the left of the groom, Another possibility is for the groom to be on the left of the bride. So in that case, we have to multiply this by 2. So 5 factorial is to arrange these 5 slots in a permutation. And one of the slots can accommodate 2 people. And there are 2 ways you can fill that up. Either the bride on the left of the groom or the bride on the right of the groom. So then the total number is going to be 5 factorial times 2. Now, let's then discuss question 5b. So in 5b, we now do not want the bride to be next to the groom. So if we don't want the bride to be next to the groom, uh, essentially we need to exclude all these cases where the bride was next to the groom. So since we know that there are six factorial ways of arranging six people in a row, and out of this 6 factorial way, a subset of them, the 5 factorial times 2, uh, will have the bride next to the groom. So then the answer to 5b is the first number uh, subtracted by the second number. So in this case, we have 6 factorial minus 5 factorial times 2. So this is the answer to 5 Alright, so now we come to 5c. So in the case of 5c, the bride is positioned somewhere to the left of the groom. Okay, so it means that the bride is on the left, but there is no uh, requirement that the bride must be immediately next to the groom. So now one way we can think about this is to try to place the groom first. So we know that there are six people, so that creates six slots. And then we are going to look at the possibilities. Now one possibility is for the groom on the leftmost one. Now in this case, we have to place the bride on the left of the groom, but there is no more slot. So for this configuration, where the groom is leftmost, there is no more slot for the bride. So then another possibility is if the groom were to be in the second slot. Now if the groom is in the second slot, this creates one empty slot on the left. So that means there is only one possible place for the bride. And, and yet there are still four places for the other four guests and these four guests can be permuted so in this case we have four factorial 
Now another possibility is for the groom to be in the third place. So this creates two left places. So there are two possibilities for the bride. Now once the bride have has taken one of the spots, this still creates another four slots for the other guests. So essentially still another four factorial for the other guests. Now you can see where we are going with this. So the next possibility is for the groom to be here, in which case there are three positions for the bride, and then four factorial ways to arrange the other guests. In this case, the groom here, so there are four possibilities. And finally, the groom will be here, so there's going to be five possibilities for the bride. And for each of that possibility, we can reorder the guests in four factorial ways. So then we just need to sum all of this up. And we are going to get the final answer.